Okay, guys, I don't know if you guys can see me well or hear me well, because I don't have a front camera on my tablet. But, I, because my, cam my computer is restarting right now, so I can't record on that. So, I'm just making sure really quickly. Okay. So, um, I, our, our, our school ended May, or Friday, Friday, May 19th, so school is over. And we haven't got a report card yet, and so I don't know. If I've made it to 7th grade or not. But hopefully yes. And um. I was going to say. So I'm going to just tell you guys everything that. I need to do. Or I'm going to do be, be doing over the summer. So first I'm going to get. My life organized. Over the summer pretty much. So first I'm just going to clean up. Everywhere. So this is what my room looks like right now. Pretty much. My turtle right there. This, you know, there's just a big mess, pretty much. So I need to organize all of that. Um, and then, so that's the first thing I need to do, right? So the second thing I need to do is on 10 marks. I need to do my um, um, assignments because they're giving us some over the summer for this raffle ticket thing. So that's cool. And then the third thing I need to do is study up for 7th grade so I can be, some, you know, prepared for 7th grade. And, um, I got some books from the library. I'll show you guys that later. So I got some of those. And, um, and then when it's close to the starting time of school, I want to be able to go to the or orientation, which is the, the time where you get a tour of the school, pretty much, or the, um, opening, open house type thing, so, yeah, I can't wait to go, because if I made, if I make it to 7th grade, I'm going to be in a different school, I'm going to be at Wisenborn, so that's going to be cool, pretty much, yeah, can't wait, it's going to be exciting, so yeah, um, I guess uh, it's time to make a checklist of stuff I need to do, so let's go ahead and get to that, so guys, I'm getting on one note right now to write, go ahead and, I have my, my computer restarted, I think, I don't know exactly, so I'm going to go ahead and get on one note to write down my checklist. So guys, I got my thing on, summer break checklist, and I think the lines are maybe too um, small, so let's space that out a little bit. So I'm going to go up here, and if I can find my mouse, I guess. sorry if this is so shaky, this tablet's heavy, if I can put it like that, there we go. So I'm going to click on rule lines. Let's get this a little bit wider so you see how, how that widened out now. And then we want to insert a checklist. So it's all over here. Is it over here? Stickers. I don't see it. No table. No, it's not what I want to insert. Let's see. Maybe it's over. Oh, there it is. Checklist. So let's select right here. Okay, let me resize my um let me resize my letters here to twenty two. Twenty two. There we go. I resize the letters. And then I'm gonna click on a checklist right here. Perfect. So we got a checklist starting. Good. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fill up this checklist, shall we? So let me set my tablet up here so I don't have to hold it while typing. I'll be back. Okay, let's, I'm just going to have to hold it. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, for the first thing we need to do is we need to do our 10 marks. So let's go ahead and write that down. Actually, let's first write down organize. So, organizing um, the house. Let's say that. So, I'm going to set this down for a second. So, I got organizing the house. So, we're just going to click on it right I can find my mouse again. There it is. Click on enter. And now the next thing is 10 marks, right? So we're going to type on here. Um, 10 marks. 10 marks, okay. Um, raffle ticket. Oh, look, we'll just say 10 marks. Oh, yeah, I oh, will say 10 marks. Ah! That's not what I want to type. 10 marks. Raffle. 10 marks raffle. 
So next we have on the studying. You know, um, I guess it'll be like studying our stuff. Man, the thing isn't even. Let me try to fix this really quickly. Maybe. Okay, let me just um, change that. Twenty maybe. No. Maybe. Eighteen. Okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, sorry I didn't um, pause it, but I got it better a little bit. So, um, now we got to do studying. So, we're going to study. There we go. So, we got our stuff. This is bothering me. Is it this one? Ignore. There we go. So we got we got that now, and then I also need to change this to eighteen. There we go. So we got our stuff here. So I guess we should get on to the raffle page thing. So here's the raffle page. I kind of spilled water on this. So that's why it's so wrinkly. But I, I should have been writing down, but you're supposed to do, if you see right here, it says complete two assignments per week. And I have one done so far. I got 90% on it because I missed one out of 10. And then the second one goes here. Then for the second week, you know, it just keeps going down. And if you still have more, you can get another piece of paper and write it on there. And then you get your parent signature right here going down. And then right here it says... Return this paper to your new math teacher on August 14th to be entered into the raffle. So, yeah, that's that. That's good, I guess. So, um, let's see. Um, so, that's pretty much. Oh, let me show you guys the books now. So, I couldn't find any social studies books in the library, but I did find. Um, math, science, and language arts, or ELA. So, I guess I'm just going to have to find something else to study on history or, you know, social studies. Because you can't really find a book like that. So, yeah. So, for math section first, the first book I got is, um, like, their company is called Painless because it's easy. Uh, Pre-algebra. And that's the first book I have. The second book is Basic Math and Pre-algebra. So that's the math section I have. So for the science, er, never mind, the language arts section I have um, is the first book I got, again by Painless, and it says, your success starts here. Um, this one is spelling. It says, if you think spelling is dull and boring, open this book and think again. And then the second book I have is Basic English Grammar for Dummies. That right there. You learn to become confident with written and spoken English, develop your skills without learning complex grammar, and um, improve your spelling and avoid common mistakes. And the third one I have is The Everything Parents, oh, well, the company's called The Everything, I guess. And The Parents Guide to Common Core ELA. Grades 6 to 8. Understand the new English standards to help your child learn and success, succeed. By Jill Mountain M.A. So that's the ELA. And then for science I have um, different sections, but they're all like together or science pretty much. Or different sciences. So the first one is chemistry by Painless. It says, you know, the same thing. So, this is chemistry. And then I have the big bad book of bot botany. botany. And botany is pretty much the study of plants. So, that's what that is. And then I have um, basic biology, which is, you know, um, pretty much plants or um, flowers. Or not flowers, I'm thinking. Um, not plants or flowers. Um, this is, biology is for, you know, animal kind of. 
And then geology is the study of land. So this is science 101 geology. And I asked for all for science. And that's all the books I got from the library. And I also got something else from the library, though. What I also got from the library is the, um, it's like the reading, like, reading recording thing where, I'll show you, so, you open this right here, this is where you record, so, each section, I believe, equals, how many said, it says, um, let me see what this says, five hours, oh, I get it, okay, so, each section, so each section like this, right here, equals um, an hour, so 60 minutes, right? So each small section would equal, so what times 4 would equal 60? And that equals uh, 15, so yes, yeah, 15. So each small section equals 15, you will color it in, and it went, like, for when you, how long you read, and once you hit five hours, you get a prize. So at five hours, you'll get, like, um, like, one of those buttons that you connect to your shirt, and Pop Rock candy. And, you know, it keeps going and going, all the way to 60 hours. And, you see, these are all the, all the different prizes. And there's some pictures at the back of the different prizes, I believe. Um, let's see. Are they at the back? No, I think they're not. Where are they? Um, I don't know where the prizes went, but there were a picture of each prize, but I don't remember where it is. But they were cool prizes, I was saying. So, yeah. So, that's what I got from the library. So, that's cool, I guess. So, I need you guys to comment down below if I should read, like, how how reading all my books, if I should just read, if I read the math section first, the language arts section next, and the science um, section last, or should I read each, a little bit, of, little bit of each book each day? So, what do you think? Just comment that down below, and I think I'm going to be starting this, the studying on the books, maybe next week. So, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!